Welcome back, you gorgeous and beautiful people from the internet. My name is Manzi Crypto. Today, we're going to just continue on with my discussions and stuff like that regarding Mobox. And uh, what my future... I don't know what, what I'm going to do, but like what the future will hold and what I think that is going to be, be more beneficial for me over time. Uh, back in the day, I actually had a, a series on this channel. I wouldn't say back in the day, but it's not too long ago. Uh, we had a series called Can I Even ROI? So I made this whole, um, this whole box over here that tracks everything that I have. And if I sell it or whatever, you can see the ROI here. So it's 1%. It's pretty much just tracking the Mobox BNB. So I say, this is my Mobox BNB. I just track the Mobox side of things. And then it times to that and then the equivalent of how much money that is, it will put that into an ROI. So the amount of money that I spent in total in in well it's a lot more than that right now but the total amount that i spent back in the day was about sixty thousand dollars on everything on nfts so essentially the goal that i'm trying to get is can i produce enough mobox bnb that would be around sixty thousand dollars in total uh, by not spending any more money into this now i did spend some more money getting these momos like i leveled up all of them here uh, because the guy that I talked to said that every level, uh, every level up that you make will make the uh, level up more worth. So it does make sense if you increase the initial I, uh, IHP or initial hash power that the level makes more sense then, which contributes to how much hash power you have. So the higher your level, the uh, more beneficial it becomes for each hash uh, each initial hash that you have um so that's something i really took to heart and i leveled up quite a few people um so i'm gonna take up these three most probably to level 40 eventually uh, but right now i'm like is it really worth it because it cost me about 50 dollars about 50 i would say close to more than 65 dollars ish uh just to get um about 200, 180 hash power. It's really not that worth though. Uh, but again, it becomes more valuable than long term. So the longer term you have the Momo, uh, the more benefit you're going to get out of it when it comes to the initial hash power. So it does make sense. Like it's it's really long term stuff here that I'm talking about. Uh, eventually, when this guy is finished leveling up, it might be more beneficial for us to um, care more about it. Uh, let me just see over here how much my NFT is worth at the moment. The white one. I should actually just buy this one, to be quite honest. Do I have $5? I do not. <laughs> let me get dollars quickly. So I think what I can do is I can maybe... Um, let me just see. We, we will add this one. Add to cart. And then... I think we'll just buy some whites that is cheap. So that's all. And uh, then we'll just purchase them. You see, it's going to cost me quite a bit of money uh, every single time to upgrade a guy. Which is not cool, man. It's really not cool. Uh, so... It does make sense though. It's gonna make it's gonna make mech more valuable for set characters. And I, I feel like we're gonna definitely make a series on top of that also. So that's one. So we purchased technically five whites. So um I think we should just refresh, go back to the marketplace, that would be great. So market, um we're looking for common from lowest to highest price one two three four five and then we're gonna look go for uncommon and the cheapest one right there and we'll purchase this and then that should be done i just want to double check and make sure that if we upgrade
There we go, we have 10. So we need we need three more. So because it's just cheaper to just buy as many as you can Momos, um, we're just gonna buy full greens right now. So marketplace. And here we're gonna say um greens. So we'll just buy six green ones. And then that's it. And then the rest will go towards... I didn't plan to do this within this episode, just by the way. But the rest, uh, the rest of the money will just go towards my monthly salary then. So if I do this then... That's 10. And then... There we go. And this will be 108, uh, 180 <laughs> uh, hash. Dude, it's so bad. Like, it, it, it's very expensive for the amount of hash you get. But now it becomes a lot cheaper, right? So it's only the initial one after. So 35, the one after that is very expensive. Now you can see it's 4, 5, 1. So obviously I have the one already. And five, we have close to it already. And then four, that is another, I don't even know how much. I mean, we're so close, we might as well just do it, right? I don't even know how much hash we're getting. It's, again, close to 200. It's a lot cheaper, though. I think before we get into that, let's just participate, grab our boxes, opening it at, uh, uh, as well, uh, see what we're getting. Uh, because I want to I wanna maybe sell the M box that we got uh, so that we can actually level up once again. Um, I'm just scared I'm going to have not enough money to pay my monthly bills, if that makes sense. <laughs> so I feel like this is the way to go. And like, yeah, I, I, I seriously do believe that it's way overpriced to level up Momos, to be quite honest. It was probably a lot cheaper to rather buy a, a, an already leveled up Momo. Um, but yeah, we'll see though. Like, I think... Let me just max here. Um, I think if you rent out your Momos, you can actually make an additional... You make an additional... Um, set of money right we make an additional amount and that actually gonna help also it's okay we we did this i'm gonna claim uh, our mech boxes over here we're gonna open it uh because it's you can only open 50 mech boxes at a time so we're gonna open those mech boxes um at least we're gonna open up 50. i'm not gonna i'm not gonna spend another it's close to a dollar every time i click something just by the way so I spend roughly like six dollars right now, uh, which is a McDonald's meal, uh, by just clicking on accept the whole time, and that really really adds up really quickly. So, so we're gonna unlock these two boxes that we have here. Um, we're gonna unlock max. We can just say fifty. You ca you can't. You can unlock more than fifty boxes, but you can only open up fifty at a time. Wait, maybe just close. So if that's the case, we'll just do it every time, right? That makes sense. So then there's going to be 52 here, but we can only up 50, uh, open up 50. And that's why I'm saying like stuff like this becomes very expensive because obviously if you were, let's say, staking your money inside a more centralized program, let's say Binance.com, for example, um, you don't pay these gas fees. You do pay gas fees, but not as nearly as much as you would here um, by being on a decentralized platform. So let's see what mech boxes we get. Hopefully we get some juicy stuff. Here we go. Oh, man. Only 870. We only have one. Oh, we have two purples. 
Yeah, we have two purples. Um, 870. I mean, it's not that bad, I guess. Uh, let's check the momos we got. I think it's better to sell them, but it's not $5 at the moment yet for a box. And the cheapest ones you can sell is going to be... Um, cheapest, lowest price you can have is $10. So it either has to be, be three boxes then, or it has to be two boxes that's $5 each, if that makes sense. So we're hoping for whites, okay? That's what we're hoping for. If not purple uh or orange so we got one green unfortunately uh it's not that bad i guess but yeah we should be able to okay we can't okay now i can actually sell my mo box which i would have used for something else but let me just check okay i, I have 2300 mech also um so someone asked me in in the comment section what does it mean what does it mean to click block enhance? So, just by the way, block enhance can be done more than one uh, more than one way. So this button right here, when you are on my Momos, if you click on this button right here, it enables block enhance. So I can click on up arrows and add people over here up until I think it's ten, if I'm not mistaken. You can only do ten at a time. Maybe it's infinite. If I can just aim with my button. Yeah, maybe it's infinite because it went up to 12 now. And then I can block enhance all of those at the same time. Meaning that I could give them initial hash power all at the same time. Does that make sense? I hope it does. But for me right now, um, I only have 2300. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give this guy the max in initial hash power. Which will take him up to almost 8000. Leveling up right now it's going to take him to eight then i said i have 2300 which is this yeah so 2300 right here so i can if i click on block enhance i can take this guy up for example once right so you can see i, I take him up once so total is showing here at the bottom 2200 and then i block enhance these upgrades right here uh within this pool i hope that makes sense so block enhance right now. Uh, and then I'm going to spend as much as I can. Um, enhancing my guys. So the reason why I do this is because this guy becomes more valuable. Obviously, the higher level he is, the higher hash power we get. Uh, so I want to keep this guy max out. He needs to be maxed out as much as possible. Now there's an access of mech. So if I click on market over here and I click on mech, you can see I have 150 mech. So what I want to do now is, because someone asked me, is it better to spend the mech? Um, is it better to spend the mech in game or is it better to spend the mech or, or stake the mech outside? In my opinion, I think the safer method is staking. But if you know what you're doing, you can make a lot of money in the games as well. So I'm going to I'm going to just uh I'm going to just do this right um let's say this one changes to mech so it's going to be mobox and mech over here and I'm going to just click on max here for the mech So this is going to be become my safety or my save piggy bank if that makes sense if I have mobox over here that or, or mech over here that I don't really want to spend um, I could just do this, and I could be saving it uh, instead of sending it back to the game to spend it on something. At the moment, I'm not spending in the game. I'm not really want to spend in uh, like outside of the game as well. Uh, but when someone mentioned this, I completely forgot about it. I completely forgot that you can actually have that there is actually a mech uh, inbox pool. I took it very serious at a stage. And um, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that again. We're going to take it serious. So all the mech that we have that, uh, that we don't spend like this, right? If there's an excess of mech left over, which nine, like 100% of the time normally there is, um, then it's just going to be better for me to put it in here. Um, 
We can list one mech to sell. I didn't even know you could actually buy mech like this as well. I thought you could only trade it through the marketplace. Uh, but yeah, so we're learning stuff as we go on. So all I'm going to do right now is sell the Mo box that we have. Uh, I don't know how much we're going to get for it. $33. I mean, it sounds like it, it's, it's roughly about 14 cents transaction fee to <laughs> just approve. It sounds roughly about um, how much it will cost me to level up the Momo. Uh, because at the moment, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, we still need a few whites. Of, uh, yeah, just a few whites, I would say. So then I'm going to just spend this $33 uh, dollars over here. Uh, so we approved it now, so we're just going to swap. I don't know if I'm going to do this again, but we'll, we'll talk about stuff like that in the future. Someone did also ask me, what am I doing right now on Mobox? And like, that's why I'm going to make this video, because if you guys watched my previous video to this one, you will see that this guy went up close to 15 levels or something like that. So I'm spending quite a bit of money leveling up this one in particular. Okay, so we're going to go back to Marketplace. Um, we're going to go to Momos and uh, Common, right? Lowest to highest price, Common. And then we're just going to buy uh, six Momos. Uh, let's say four, and then we'll go to green again and just buy. Uh, the reason why I'm buying six at a time, uh, we can actually... How much is whites? It's still less than $5. Okay, uh, so we'll just remove this. It's less than $5, it's still worth for me, I, I think. So the reason why I'm doing this is because I want mech to become valuable in my eyes. Mech, I, I believe mech is extremely unvaluable unless you have like a really good spot to spend it. So since this guy is now 340 and we level him up, he's going to be 8,000. Uh, we're going to do just that. And then I think the next thing, the next one after this is again expensive. And I believe this is the, this is a great way to, to compound your interest. Uh, the other way, in my opinion, is going to be through uh, staking Mobox BNB. Um, I want to take this pool extremely serious again eventually, um, which I most probably will do this week. We'll see. Let me just do this, some math. The next one is, we, is again a little bit expensive. Um, so, I mean, it's not that bad. Every time you look at it, it's like $50, right? It's the reason also why I'm doing this instead of buying an NFT. It's because every month or so, or every week or so, I have some money. So then I could just spend it here, level it up. Like, the, the faster I can get this guy to level 40, the better. Um, and then I'm going to just keep this guy to the max I, uh, initial hash power. And the reason being is because these guys, we're going to keep on just breaking this. Uh, we're going to just make sure that we are above this number right here every single, every single reset, which happens in 450 hours. Um, and the rest of the mech, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stake. I'm going to make it into mechs, uh, mech, being, uh, sorry, mech uh, Mobox, uh, staking that. Uh, I think over time, it's just going to be more valuable. Um, I don't know where to see my stakeage. Uh, it might be here somewhere. Um, slippage. I don't know where to say how much I staked. It's it's kind of strange. I think this is just showing my history how much I swapped for Mobox Mech. I think, if I'm not mistaken. Um, this right here could potentially show it. Um, I'm not too sure. I will have to search for it quickly. Oh, here we go. There we go. So you you click on the earn, then you click on backspace, and then it shows your uh, your mech and your mobox. So I'm curious to see because like I've put in 150 mech, 
Like, I'm gonna see, like, how it goes up or down or whatever. Um, I want to put in, like, a thousand each week or something. Or not each week, but each month or something like that. Every time I have to upgrade, I think that would be a great number to, to strive towards. Like, I remember, I remember also I stopped um, putting in money here because I just never see this APR. I never see it. Like, I don't know how it goes. Like, where, where, where do I receive the money that is supposedly coming to me uh, through this? I, I don't know. Uh, because it, it, it should just be in here. But I don't see it, so we'll see. So it shows here at the bottom, by adding liquidity, you'll gain 3% of all trades on your Mobox to make pair, proportional to your share of the pool. Fees are added to the pool. Accurate what occur accrue in real time and can be claimed withdrawing your liquidity. So you can only you can only claim you can only claim if you withdraw your liquidity. So that's not cool though, but it, it does make sense, that, right? So my mech, like every time someone trades, I should be getting uh, um, some some money here. Some mech should go up. So it could be nice to like keep track, you know, over time. Of especially the mech side, but it's going to be hard to do because of permanent loss and stuff like that. So, um, not too sure how we're going to keep track of it over time. But yeah, it's you know another place to stake um, if you have excess or something. I believe it's a great a great way to save is let's say for example back in the day when you know your grandmother or something like that goes to the shop. Normally, what she would do is if let's say for example. She, she buys her monthly shopping um, and she has like, I don't know, a few cents left, right? Because normally you pay in full dollars or whatever, but you have a few cents left to take those cents and put it in a piggy bank. Um, and over time, that money becomes a lot over time, right? Now imagine that if you can do that as well, but if you were getting interest on that. So that is what the, the steps that I'm trying to take here. Uh, the excess, the, the mech that I couldn't spend, I might as well just earn from that anyway. So that is the best way I can put it. But yeah, that's going to be video for today, guys. Uh, something I need to mention also, Starbets having a pretty awesome and weird event at the same time. They have a special Star Wars, which is worth $10,000 right now, which is crazy. Um, but yeah, I'm not that high. Obviously, I don't have that much money to spend. Um, Spending literally everything right now on Mobox to try and get something rolling. Um, but yeah, also if you go to Devidence and you scroll a bit down, you can see that it is currently 30% off on your mining price. So there is a lot of reasons to, to keep on. To keep on with this project. I'm never going to stop, guys. So someone has asked me when is a good time to stop for, for star bets. In my opinion, it's never a good time to stop. What you want to do is... For example, let's say you mine three dollars a day every single day, right? You keep it rolling the the three dollars a day in, uh, because like you know, depending on how much you're bidding. Like I'm doing this on my second piece, so you guys don't see it at the moment. Um, but I, at the moment I'm bidding this amount, which is uh, zero. Uh, let me just move the screen here, which is zero point zero zero one. So I I bid literally a tenth of a cent right now, right? But normally I was betting uh, two five, so two five. That is what normally what I betted, and it took me to zero every single day. But now I'm waiting for the next event. So what I do is I could just do this, that amount, spend that in uh, every single day, and that will assure me that I I'm not going to zero as long as I'm claiming right. I will not go to zero, but at least I'm keep on keeping on, and even like events like this where it doesn't make sense that there's a weird event, because I didn't even know this, and I saw, okay, there's two days left. If I click on more info, I'm getting $10, bro. Like, I'm getting $10, right? So it's definitely worth just keeping it on uh, and forgetting about it at the, at the, at the very least. 
Uh, and if you guys are wondering how I'm making money, it's because every 10 cents that I get, I just claim it in Bitcoin. And for having it in a different currency, I'm not going to accidentally mine it in or anything like that. And uh, I could just keep on doing this. I'm never going to stop, guys. Like, I'm never going to stop with this project. Um, I think it's one of the best decisions I've made. It's a really, really good project, and I'm not going to stop. So yeah, that answers the questions of everyone in the comment section. What am I doing for Mobox? What am I doing right now? I'm taking these two projects extremely serious. Starbits and Mobox is my two biggest projects at the moment. And I'm never going to stop with them. I'm never. Um, I'm, I'm like, once I get this Momo to level 40, I'm not going to level up most probably. I'm not going to level up these guys. Maybe I'll take this guy up also to level f level 20. And then I will just uh, I will just start taking my Mobox BNB series. I'll I'll start taking Vembox series. Uh, I will uh, not Vembox. Sorry, I will take Mex Mbox series also uh, over time and see how it's gonna go. I am I'm a huge fan of this. Um, I I seriously believe in uh, compounding interest. Um, I, I'm just hoping that I can pay the bills still, you know. And uh, yeah, we'll see how things go. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to support the channel. If you want to support a little bit more, please make sure to leave a like. It really does help a lot. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you guys in the very next video. Take care. Bye-bye.